Hi, see this, this problem appeared in the JE main paper 2019 and again it is uh, says that it is purely imaginary. So that's the problem, okay. Now see that <coughs> there are many methods to solve this problem. So one method obviously as obvious in all the complex number that if I consider z equal to x plus i y and trying to find out that detail that okay that multiplying by the conjugates and all that stuff we will get that some other form of real plus i into imaginary part and then you will calculate that imaginary part will be zero uh, sorry real part will be zero and then your job is done okay. But uh, here we don't do this approach because obviously we know that with the experience you have you can see that if I consider z equal to x plus i y always always the problem became too lengthy and for j we don't have that much time right so we'll use different approach to solve this problem okay so let's go ahead first <coughs> we consider this uh, complex number or the given complex number let us call it as w or omega that's equal to z plus alpha and z minus alpha and z plus alpha and in this particular problem remember this that uh, uh, alpha is a real number it is given okay so now we'll calculate that uh, omega plus omega bar equal to 0. Why? Because here z is purely imaginary. So purely imaginary means omega plus omega bar equal to 0. So that's why let's calculate omega bar first. So therefore what is omega bar? That means the conjugate. So therefore it will be z minus alpha divided by z plus alpha conjugate. <coughs> Now whenever we apply this conjugate, this conjugate is applied on the denominator and the nu numerator and the denominator separately. So therefore it can be easily written as z minus alpha bar divided by z plus alpha bar which imply that in my case omega bar is actually z bar minus alpha z bar plus alpha. So that's actually the number. Why? Because if it is a real number, right, alpha, the bar doesn't mean anything because it's the same thing, right? So therefore, we calculate omega bar. Now, given condition, it says that omega is imaginary or technically purely imaginary. Now, when it is purely imaginary, we can say that omega plus omega bar equal to zero. That's definitely imply that omega is equal to minus omega bar. That imply that, that what is omega? That actually z minus alpha divided by z plus alpha is actually equal to the minus sign z bar minus alpha and z bar plus alpha. Now, <clears throat> we do the cross multiplication. So let's do that. So if I do the cross multiplication, we have z minus alpha and z bar plus alpha that's equal to z bar minus alpha and z plus alpha. So let's multiply them together. So therefore, we will say that z into z bar as simple as that ma plus alpha into z minus alpha into z bar minus alpha squared. So that's my left hand side. I missed the minus sign here. Okay. So and also we'll see that in this particular problem, this is z bar minus alpha and z plus alpha. So again, we'll multiply that. And so therefore we have continue with the minus sign and we'll see that this is actually z into z bar plus alpha into z bar minus alpha into z minus alpha square and that's it. So now we can see that this can easily be written as minus z z bar minus alpha z bar plus alpha z plus alpha square. Now see it imply that alpha z and alpha z get cancelled minus alpha z bar minus alpha z bar cancel. So 2 into z into z bar is equal to 2 times of alpha square that imply that z into z bar is equal to alpha square. So that's it. Now we learn that z into z bar is actually gives you the mod of z square. Okay, so this imply that mod of z square is equal to alpha square and it's imply that mod of z is equal to alpha. So that's it. Now mod of z is actually distance of the point the, or the complex number in the organ plane from the origin and distance cannot be negative in general. So that's why we consider that that mod z is greater than 0. So that's why we consider it as alpha. Okay, This is not r, sorry, this is alpha. So now <coughs> in this particular problem, it is given that that mod of z is 2. 
and that's why we'll say that alpha is equal to 2 and hence for this particular problem obviously the option D is the correct choice hope you understood the problem so let's to copy that let's have a look in the detailed solution it's clear so you can copy that thank you